All right, uh, let's start with the uh, electric investment then. 20 billion in CapEx increase, 50 billion in um, orders out. Uh, where are you getting that capital from? Are you taking it away from other divisions? Well, Volkswagen is very robust, financially speaking. So, you don't really have to worry. We'll have the necessary wherewithals to implement our plans. Of course, uh, we're making an investments every year. We're investing parts of our profits. We did that in the past. We'll do it in the future. And we're going to make the money that we we'll need for those investments. Do you still feel the need to sell off certain units? There was talk about the possibility of a sale of Ducati, some uh, heavy truck parts units, maybe an IPO. Um, is, that, is that all still necessary to this plan? Well, I've been reading about this in the newspaper. Sometimes I don't really understand this ongoing discussion. One of my most important tasks is to think about our product portfolio on an ongoing basis and to ask myself whether we are properly positioned for the future. This is what we do. We are relaxed about this. And uh, if and when decisions need to be taken in terms of a sale or an acquisition of companies, then we'll talk about it openly. You did say in the press release today that you plan on an electrified version of each of the 300 or so models in your uh, portfolio. Does that mean we'll see an electric Ducati Monster or even a superbike? Well, you have to ask Ducati, really. But to answer your question, Volkswagen has learned from the past, and over the past two years, we've understood what people understand by sustainable mobility. And this Roadmap E that we've announced and uh, which you alluded to is a self-commitment, and it's going to be our yardstick going forward. You do have uh, set the goal for your, you do have a goal for yourself, a nearer goal at 2025 to have 80 electrified vehicles out. I think 50 fully electric and 30 hybrids. Um, is there going to be the infrastructure? I mean, in Germany, I don't see supercharger stations all over the place. Even in the U.S., you know, outside of the major urban areas, and that's a much bigger country, there's a lot of work to be done. Well, yes, you're right, and uh, it's a legitimate question. But Germany, sorry, the world is not just Germany. In Germany, we don't have the right infrastructure, and maybe um, we can say that the offering is bigger than the existing charging infrastructure. So over the next few years, we have to strike a balance between the product offering and the infrastructure. But there are also other countries in the world, even in Europe, there are countries where that have a lot more charging stations than Germany. We're a global company. We want to offer our drive systems in the entire world, and that's what we're going to do. Are there, are there countries or regions you think that are further ahead in this uh, regard? I mean, for example, in China, do you see quicker movement towards that kind of electrified infrastructure? Well, that seems to be the case as things stand at the moment. If the right decisions are taken, we're taking note of that. We are preparing for the situation, and then we're going to offer electrified products in China uh, when the time is right.